Hi, hello, welcome. It is Valdez School. In this video, you are going to learn in detail and quick revision about reconstruction of the partnership business, admission of a new partner. Come, let's learn in detail. Admission of a new partner, agreement or deed going to be altered that is considered as reconstruction of the partnership business. First one is admission of a new partner. So, when and all firm will reconstitute, you well known about that changes in profit and loss sharing ratios among the partners. Admission of a new partner, retirement of a partner, death of a partner. So, during this all the situation, definitely firm will reconstitute. You well known about it. Especially, we are going to learn in detail about admission of a new partner. So, because of admitting new partner, definitely their profit and loss sharing ratio is going to be changed. New partner will bring capital and uh, goodwill money into the business that may be cash or other kind of uh, assets into the business so existing partner will be compensated in terms of goodwill what he brought into the business by the sacrificing ratio sacrificed partner especially because of admitting new partner existing partner someone sacrificed or collection of all the partners may be sacrificed sacrifice ratio you will know about it when the new ratios are better to compare with the old ratios that is gaining ratios when old ratios are better to compare with the new ratios that is sacrificing ratio it is the formula for calculating cash sacrificing and gaining ratios if any existing partners are sacrificed the existing partners will be compensated in terms of goodwill what he brought into the business who new partner brought into the business especially as goodwill money that goodwill money will be compensated to the existing partners and very and very important points during reconstruction of the partnership business especially admission of a new partner new profit and loss sharing ratios will be calculated during admission of a partner sacrificing ratios gaining ratios valuation and adjustment of goodwill revaluation of assets and reassessment of liabilities called revaluation account distribution of accumulated profit and losses will be done adjustment of partners capital so these are all mandatory most important adjustments we are going to do during the admission of a new partner and goodwill what is the goodwill goodwill is an intangible asset it is invisible in nature consider this reputation of the business and purchase goodwill or value high self generated goodwill or valueless intangible assets it is so as 26 most important it is and in terms of continuing business if it earns more profit than earlier we will consider because of its reputation only it is earning lot many profit than earlier so that reputation will be considered as goodwill what are the factors that are affecting goodwill nature's location and market situation managerial and special advantages like ways you know very well about the location if it is being center places market situation also dog goodwill are being value high for all the concern and cat goodwill especially based on the location cash oriented business is being very good and owners based goodwill considered as dog goodwill this and all you keep in your mind chance are there for asking me one more questions then special advantages like copyrights patents trademarks technical know-how and uh, long-term contract this and all will be a special advantages for see needs for valuation of goodwill is most important why we should calculate goodwill why we should value the goodwill when we should value and calculate the goodwill that is the most important during reconstruction time so when and all firm will reconstitute you will learn about that so during this all these situation firm will reconstitute what changes in profit and loss earning ratio admission retirement death and adjustment based goodwill because of our non-operating incomes our existing profit boosted up that is going to be deducted because of non-operating expenses our existing profit decreased so now that is going to be added to find out the exact value of the profit then only we can calculate the adjustment valuation goodwill method so this and all we are going to do and then revaluation of assets and reassessment of liabilities called revaluation account most important account it is that also we are going to discuss in detail then distribution of accumulated profit and losses you will know about that profit and losses is not yet distributed for past three years five years that is accumulated profit resource we have maintaining like general resource and specific resource which is not distributed to the existing partners so this also will be distributed before going to admit a new partner into the business so partners should be settled existing partners should be settled because it is their uh, profit uh, kept as the resource so they are being as the owner so it will be given to the existing partners as per their existing profit and loss sharing ratio it must be credited in their capital accounts then adjustment of partners capital most important partners capital going to be adjusted so this also we are going to look at but valuation of goodwill methods we have three different kinds of valuation of goodwill methods that is average profit method super profit method and capitalization of uh, average profit and super profit method like this so we can segregate that average profit also into two one is weighted average profit another one is normal average profit whatever it is it will be multiplied at last with number of years of purchase and super profit when we are getting the excess profit uh, then the normal profit if actual profit is excess to compare with the normal profit that is considered as super profit that super profit will be multiplied by number of years of purchase will be answered as goodwill then capitalization of average profit so what is the formula for capitalization of average profit average profit into 100 divided by number of 
what is the formula for calculating average profit in capitalization of valuation method like uh, average profit into 100 divided by normal rate of return okay and if you are going ahead with the super profit adjusted goodwill now based on it definitely we can expect on three mark and one mark even non-operating income and expenses which is boosted up their profit that will be subtracted and which is de-promoted the profit that will be added to get the exact amount of profit then we can calculate the goodwill treatment of treatment of goodwill when new partner brings goodwill amount apart from his capital money as premium he is bringing into the business so during this situation new partners that goodwill amount will be given to the existing partner especially one who sacrificed this goodwill will be appropriated and given in the ratio of sacrifice sacrificed partners will be settled will be given in terms of goodwill what he brought as premium in case if he is settling privately no general entry if not why he bring goodwill money into the business cash to goodwill otherwise if he if it is and when they are sharing to the partners so partners capital account going to be credited and debiting the goodwill or cash when the existing partners are credited and they withdrawn immediately so partners capital account going to be debited and uh, cash or bank account going to be credited sometimes partners may decide to withdraw only 50 percentage of the goodwill so 50 percentage amount will be entered but general entries are same existing goodwill existing goodwill if anything is available in the books of accounts in the balance sheet what will what should be done by debiting all the existing partners all the existing goodwill will be given so by debtor our uh, existing partners capital account debtor to goodwill it is the journal entry then new goodwill what comes into the business that will be given to the sacrificing partner as per their sacrificing ratio when new partner does not bring the goodwill money so that new partners capital or current account going to be debited and will be credited the sacrificing partners capital or current account so this is the journal entries in case if he fails to bring the goodwill money immediately into the business when goodwill exists in the books you well known about that existing goodwill will be uh, withdrawn uh, existing goodwill will be written off immediately by existing partners so that is why debiting all the partners capital account expressly existing partners capital account and crediting the goodwill value and hidden goodwill it is new partner brings some money additionally with the capital into the business which is not shown very clearly we comes to know after some calculations only for an example a b c are partners c is the new partner one who brings 50000 into the business but they didn't mention expressly about goodwill this much he brought into the business so in this case 50000 what is their proportions that proportion will be checked out if he is expecting 1 by 3 in the future profit so 1 by 3 is equal to 50000 then forms uh, total capital will be 1 lakh and 50000 because he is expecting 1 by 3 1 by 3 is equal to 50000 means definitely it will be around 1 lakh and 50000 firms capital then we are adding all the existing partners capital with the new partners capital a is maintaining 45000 b is maintaining uh, 40000 so 45 plus 40 how much 85000 85 plus 50 85 plus 50 around how much 1 lakh and 35000 only but actually how much should be maintained as partners capital totally 1 lakh and 50000 but now 1 lakh and 35 only 15000 remaining that 15000 will be considered as firm's goodwill so he is expecting 1 by third 1 by third of 15000 will be 5000 this 5000 will be considered as goodwill what he brought apart from his capital into the business so this and all mandatory it is considered as hidden goodwill adjustment of undistributed profit and losses most important it is adjustment of undistributed profit and losses to the partners it may be accumulated profits accumulated losses accumulated profit will be credited to the partners capital account accumulated losses will be debited to the partners capital account sometimes the reserves general reserves or specific reserves if it is general reserve will be given directly to the existing partners capital account as per their existing profit and loss sharing ratio it will be given to the partners in case if it is specific reserve specific reserves against claims are there that claims will be made out after made out the claims if excess reserves are there that excess reserves will be distributed to the existing partners as per their profit and loss sharing ratio especially existing profit and loss sharing ratio so that is mandatory then revaluation of assets and reassessment of liability called revaluation account revaluation account is most important account this will be asked in uh, six mark account six mark 
revaluation account is most important definitely revaluation account would be opened in 6 mark so debit side is being favor for the liability side liabilities increases assets decreases will be written in the debit side of revaluation account and credit side of revaluation account asset increases and liability decreases under valuation of assets will be taken place in credit side under valuation of liabilities will be in debit side over valuation of assets will be debit side over valuation of liabilities will be credit side under stated of assets will be credit side under stated of liabilities will be debit side under record assets are credit side under record liabilities are debit side so that is not mandatory then we are comparing both the side if credit side exists to compare with the debit side that will be considered as revaluation gain or revaluation profit will be distributed to the existing partners as per their profit and loss are Ratio, that to existing profit and loss sharing ratio in case debit side are access to compare with the credit side that is considered as revaluation loss loss also will be distributed to the partners especially for existing partners in their existing profit and loss sharing ratio this one will be adjustment of partners capital account based on the new partners capital account existing partners capital going to be adjusted that is considered as adjustment of capital method for an example if new partner C a, B, C are partners. A, B are existing. C is the new one who is bringing 20,000 and he is expecting 1 by 4 of future profit. So, 20,000 he is bringing as capital into the business. So, 1 by 4 is equal to 20,000 means 4 by 1 will be 80,000. A and B already sharing their profit and losses 2 is to 1. So, now new profit would be 2 is to 1 is to 1. So, in this sense, A might should have or double of C's money. So C brought 1 by 4 he is expecting he brought 20,000 into the business which means A would maintain 40,000. Okay, if A is maintaining 45,000, 5,000 he can withdraw. If A is maintaining only 35,000, he must bring 5,000 into the business. So here partners going, partners capital going to be adjusted. That is considered as adjustment of partners capital account. Changes in profit and loss sharing issues among the partners. A, B, C are partners. A is being as the active partner. He is unhappy about the profit and loss sharing issues what they are maintaining earlier because A is being as an active partner and he is doing entire work of the business. He is being as the managing partner also. He requesting uh, for all the other partners to change their profit and loss sharing issues. They are giving favor assent for the A. So they are changing their profit and loss sharing issue. Here no admission, no retirement, no death, nothing happened. But profit and loss sharing issues are altered. So D will be altered based on the profit and loss sharing ratio it is being as reconstitution oriented that is why this change in profit and loss sharing ratio among the partners and proportionate method oriented this is most important definitely on six mark questions will be asked based on proportionate capital method or based on profit and loss sharing ratios among the partner changes in profit and loss sharing ratios among the partner from these two definitely one question will come for six mark based you be concerned you practice last part many question based on it so proportionate method means we are doing the calculation uh, like uh, revaluation account and partners capital account in partners capital account especially for the existing partners alone we are doing everything here in the adjustments they would be given about the new partner he will bring necessary amount of capital and goodwill into the business in the future so that has been given in our adjustment apart from that nothing has been given about the new partners information and all so now we are going to calculate that revaluation account from the revaluation account we comes to know whether revaluation profit or loss has been distributed and already existing partners capital money and goodwill uh, existing goodwill if any that would be written off and revaluation gain and undistributed profit and whatever reserves are given that will be given to the partners then we are calculating if anything has to be given for outsiders so that outside liabilities also will be settled by debiting interest on drawings will be debited if any loss loss also will be debited for the partners accumulated losses accumulated profit so everything we are going to be adjusted in the partners capital account but after registered for all the existing partners we comes to know their existing partners capital balances perfectly then with the help of that uh, existing partners uh, capital money we are going to find it out how much the new partner should bring capital money into the business so that is considered as proportionate method for an example it is uh, equal partners 1 is to 1 is to 1 wise but now A and B are maintaining after done all the calculation their capital account source the balances as 2,50,000 each so now 2 by 3 of the firms is 5 lakh so how much 3 by 3 of firms capital will be how much 7,50,000 now C must have to bring 
टू लैक फिफ्टी थौसंड कैपिटल इंटू दि बिजने दिस इज कंसिडर एस प्रपोर्शनेट कैपिटल मेथड वेरी इंपारटेंट मेथड इट इस जस्ट यू प्राक्टिस लाट मेनी क्वेश्चन बेस्ड आन इट प्रपोर्शनेट आर चेंजेस इन प्राफिट एंड लास्ट सारे इश्यूज अमंग दि पार्टनर्स फ्रम दैट वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट एनी ओन क्वेश्चन थैंक यू सूपरा सुन ये